Greetings, all praising. King Selassie. I and I speak about language. Language is the instrument in which cultures operate um, by communicating. The only people that do not need language are hermits that have no interaction with any humans. Other than that, to survive in any society, you have to know language. And there's not many things that are as universally adapted. Um, as a matter of fact, besides drinking water and breathing air, there's not much that everyone else does. Now, some people might say that, you know, everyone's 99.9% .9, the same. I guess, I mean, you can believe it if you'd like. So this thing about language, this is the, the basis of the culture. If you separate people from one another, eventually over time they're gonna form their own language. Now it might be based on another language, as is most every other language, um, with the exception of the Hebrew language. However, um, it is a form of communicating that's within, that some are able to overstand and the rest have to learn, you know, but it evolved simply by separating a group of people from another. And the larger language also evolved too, as every year there's new words that, that come out. Uh, sometimes these words might catch, incentivized or incentivization is one word that I made up that I know that has catch somewhat, um, although you will not find it in the dictionary. And there's other words, Goomba, you know, the pedophile Trump, he's a classic example. So, you know, you can make up words, and that's, that's important because in this time, the freedom people have to come together to say, you know, it's time to form our own language. Because language is a reflection of philosophy and not the vain philosophy that Paul spoke about, yet the way of life I and I trod. And so this verbal expression reflects the way that people live their life. And most people realize this because if you speak with somebody and they're going, oh, F this man, you know, we're going to get him, you know, whatever they say, you know, you say, okay, well, I don't know what that person's about, and so on and so forth. However, take note that people are perceived differently based on the way they speak and not necessarily the words they use, which is a, a major flaw because in many cases, people get ripped off simply by, like for example, a lawyer or a politician saying something that sounds persuasive and sounds assuring and yet if you actually pay attention to the words they're saying it's a lie and lies can't be trusted well you can trust them if you want i wouldn't do it so language reflects the way people live and the babylon man knows this so the babylon has formed communication arms to influence people to speak a certain way so long as they're in the lower class. You know, because the upper class, they go to the fine schools and they learn what they need to say, when they need to say it, and how they need to say it. And it's it considered interpersonal relations, you know, public relations. And yet, it's not really most important to pay attention to 
how somebody's saying something as in what they're actually saying. Nobody likes to be talked down to. And, you know, there's times where people speak that doesn't sound so assuring and kind of obnoxious. And, you know, maybe I myself is not an exception. And yet, I think about the words I use now, just as any human. I'm a part of this conditioning process in Babylon, so, you know, at times I may say things that I am making an effort to avoid saying because they're so uh, woven into the daily routine or pattern of speaking that it's difficult to eliminate. And so, and many of this has um, of this influence has been brought forth through the communication charm uh, channels such as charms, yeah, really, you know, such as uh, Hollywood and whatever people are watching on television, that those uh, actors are scripted and they're reading specific words, you know, they, you know, a real uh, famous actor, he might get away with going off script. Um, however, or she, however, actress, however, you know, the script, and the script is because it is meant to tell the story. There's a message there that, that, that they're sending. If anything, they're trying to tell you not ha to not speak effectively. And this is done by using words that are measly, insulting, and the like. Now when you're dealing with the police, which nowadays anyone could be, they are attempting to uh, provoke language from you to use against you, or at least file away in their database on their sound file to say, this is what this person sounds like. Now, they're going to treat you differently than they would the average person, as long as you're a freedom fighter. Because most of what the police do is they profile people. That's, that's their job. That's why when people start talking about, oh, police need to stop profiling, please. That's what the ex police exist for. They observe people, and they take account of all the behaviors that they they, they can't. And now the drones, I know it's, it's paranoia, right? But why else do they have drones? And if you want to know if drones exist, I can tell you. If you live in a state where you can't plant a marijuana seed, plant a marijuana seed and see how fast the helicopter shows up. Because there's a drone and it sees what you do. Otherwise, the helicopter the helicopter won't show up because when you don't plant one the helicopter won't show up now they might watch this video and try to prove me wrong but I mean how much are they gonna be willing to cost themselves but you know they're, they're, the point is there's ways to know if this is just paranoia or if this is really happening and most people just work all day and they look at their thing and they look at whatever they're being shown that they don't do real research and they don't really um, keep their ears open and if they did they would they would they probably agree that yeah the, we're all being watched because the Babylon tells us this and they like to believe in the Babylon so sometimes it, it don't come from the Babylon man that the people don't have the trust and that's all part of the propaganda the conditioning over time try to criminalize and demonize people that look a different way or speak a different way. And so once they profile you and determine that you're not like them and you're not going to be like them because there's different kinds of profile. There's people that are, are on the uh, fence, so to speak, and 
the Babylon really, really trying to pull those people into their, uh, onto their plantations. And, and you know, the people are, are you know, those are the most, those are the most prioritized targets because they're the ones that could go the other way, you know, so. Well, for, for, for I and I, Babylon say, the I and I has already thought things thoroughly.